Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Radio Show, The Christian Business Connection. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, declaring that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm rejoicing. I'm excited about Jesus. I hope you are too. You know, I love that song by Erica Campbell. She says, I love God. You don't love God? What's wrong with you? (laughs) I love him. I love him. I love him. He's great and greatly to be praised. Friends, I want to say thank you to everybody and anyone who had anything to do with our celebration of women in health care. It was a wonderful success. We give God the glory. We thank God for the women who came out in health care as we celebrated you. We thank God for our vendors. We thank God for everyone who participated in the event. It was wonderful. And we are going to do it again next year. This was our first annual. And we thank God for blessing it. Glory to his name. I thank him for our guest today, too. We have a wonderful lineup of folks on our program. We want to encourage you that if you would like to be on the CBC radio show, talking about your business, your ministry, your upcoming event, give us a call. 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225. We're talking this morning with Apostle Frank Bio. He is our CBC Author of the Month. His new book, Allah is Not Our God, is a wonderful read, my friends. And he's going to talk about that book and how he's in a couple places here this week in St. Louis. He's going to be also part of the Prophecy Conference that the Christian Business Connection is going to be doing this Friday. Call us at 314-270-2225 to get more information about it. Let me tell you the information that he's going to talk about is going to be right on time, truly a right on time prophetic word for what is going on right now. We also have on the program my friend Bishop Prentice Thomas. Bishop is talking about his upcoming Miracle Monday Crusades. Fantastic. You got to be a part of that. He's going to talk about it today along with some testimonies. So get ready for that. We also have on the program Mr. Donald Gill, who is the writer and director of Church People Incorporated, an exciting stage play that is coming very soon, and he's going to talk about that too. And we have on the program Miss Rose Graham of Perfecting Talent, Talent Vision 2016. We're going to have a great interview talking with her about all the things that she's bringing to the St. Louis area. It's going to be great. You truly want to be involved. And friends, you know, there's just so much that I can say about the CBC radio show. But if you have been listening to this program throughout the years, if you've been listening on iHeartRadio, I thank you so much. I thank you for everyone for listening all around the world to the CBC radio show. Well, look, we're going to take a short break right here. And when we come back, we're going to be talking with Apostle Frank Bio, our CBC author of the month. Allah is not our God. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Good morning. This is Roxy Jones, your independent hair distributor with Peace of Mind Boutique, telling you to give her what she really wants, a peace of mind. I offer 100% Zen Remy Human Hair Extensions, as well as clip-ins, a multitude of other hair products, as well as wigs. Would you like to be an independent hair distributor yourself? Find out more on becoming a hair independent distributor by contacting the hotline 305-814-0891. That is my hotline. Again, that's 305-814-0891. 0891. You can also follow us on Instagram at Peace of Mind Hair 13. That's at P I E C O F M I N D H A I R 13. And give yourself what you really want a peace of mind and achieve the look of a model 
without the cost. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Prophetess Nona Thomas. And friends, we've been talking during the month of September with Apostle Frank Bio about his new book, Allah is Not Our God. Apostle is going to be coming to St. Louis. And we are so excited about what God is going to do here with him to speak to our hearts right here in the metropolitan area. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Apostle Frank Bio. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Prophetess. Praise the Lord. This is a day that the Lord has made. We rejoice and we are glad in it. That's right. I didn't have to prompt you. You knew what to do. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Glory to God. Praise I tell you, I'm so excited. You know, we, we, uh, uh, we've we just had the celebration of women in health care yesterday, and here we are on Sunday, and the Lord has blessed, and we had a great time, didn't we? Praise God. Yes, we sure did. Praise and, the name of the Lord. Yes. yes, yes. And now we're getting ready to come up into this week. And I just want to talk about a couple places that you're going to be before we get into the book. Is that all right, Apostle? Sure, please do. You are going to be speaking at the Lighthouse Ministries on this Thursday at 6 p.m. That's where Bishop Joe Bingham Jr. is the overseer. Tell us about that. Yes, uh, he's. they have a Bible school there. And one of the subjects that they've been talking about is African-American culture in our inner cities and the influences that are coming against the African-American community. And so and when you heard about our book, Allah is not our God, uh, he said definitely this is a timely subject because of how much and how fast uh, Islam is, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Islam is growing across America. And as we began to share, uh, I began to share with him four major areas that Islam is attacking, not only the African American community, but it's targeted that primarily, but also all communities. Uh, basically, it's going after those that are incarcerated uh, because they're disenfranchised. They're looking for hope, and uh, they become a part of a community. Then they're looking for our young men that are unemployed, which they are called disenfranchised because they don't have purpose. And the third is the gang members. And last but not least, they're, they're coming, and they're coming through our schools against our children as young as in kindergarten. Yes, 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 my Lord. So this is going to be an expose uh, revealing uh, the tactics of the enemy in conjunction with the, the book, Allah is Not Our God, keeping in mind the Scripture says not to be unequally yoked with unbelievers. So that is a spearhead right now, and I really believe it's going to be a very powerful evening. I know that people will be blessed. And uh, their lives will be changed. Indeed, indeed. I, I tell you, St. Louis, we, we, we're just, we're like a sponge ready to soak up so much information and revelation that the Lord has given you, Apostle. You know, uh, your book that we are uh, featuring this month, Allah is Not Our God, is is simply, as the, as you said, timely. It's, it's, it's just revolutionary. Uh, your book that we featured uh, before uh, was Seeing Beyond What You See. And I want to talk about that that one uh, for a second if we could because sure. um, the Christian Business Connection is going to be hosting a prophecy conference on this coming Friday, September 23rd. And so can you just give us a little bit of the tidbits on what you're going to talk about at that conference, Apostle? Yes, we're going to be covering timely subjects such as we're going to be talking about Israel, which is a barometer. The Bible says when you see all of these things pertaining to Israel come to pass, look up, your redemption draweth nigh. We're going to be talking about a one-world religion. We're going to be talking about the feasts of Israel. How important are they to the return of Jesus Christ? We're going to be talking about the one-world religion. We'll talk about the false prophet. We'll talk about the Antichrist. These are all questions that 
that people have been asking, and through revelation knowledge that God has given us, we have put down, uh, put a package together, a dynamite package that I believe will be something that will be able to the individual that partake will not only be able to be blessed by it individually, but they can even use it as Bible studies. They can use it in their churches because there's going to be outlines and text material, and it's going to bless them. My goodness. Uh, we're so looking forward to Apostle. And I know the Lord has blessed you. You've been taking this prophecy tour really throughout the country, haven't you? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, we've been to uh, we've been to Louisiana, Florida, uh, Georgia, now uh, into Missouri. Uh, we're looking forward now to the Carolinas and to the Virginias. Uh, Lord is just opening up massive, massive opportunity to minister. Yes, he is. And I want to let our listeners know that if you would like this Prophecy Book Tour to come to your city, to your hometown, how can they get in contact with you, Apostle? Well, I have a website, and the website is www.bioministries.org. That's informational. But to communicate with me individually, uh, you can go to bioministries at gmail.com. Yes, and I encourage people to go to the website. I recently went to your website, uh, Apostle, and I was listening to some of the teachings and some of the video presentations that you've had. Oh, my goodness. There was one that you had on, on uh, online from... Uh, 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 2014, and it was yeah. it was so revolutional and so revelatory yeah. that I was like, did he just did he just do that? <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> yeah. you know the word the word that God is giving us for this day. Uh, and my spiritual father, and by the way, he sends you his regards, uh, Apostle Skip Horton, out of the 7,000 more. Yes. He said this, that the information that God has given us, because we collaborated on the Watchman Sees Book 2 and Book 1, and he said the revelation that God has given us is twofold. It's rhema, which is the spoken word for a now time, and the other one is the logos, which means that it lines up with the word. The Bible says, let all things be established in the presence of two or more witnesses. So if it's rhema and logos, it's already doctrine. It is settled in heaven and on earth. Hallelujah. It's already settled. It's already, it, it, it's it's firm. <laughs> it can't be it broken is. up. It is. <laughs> that is. Yes. What and the important thing, and prophetess, the important thing about this is that we do not want to instill fear. We want the people of God to be informed, because if they're informed, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God, you see? Mm -hmm. And that we're going to operate from a position of strength, not from a position of weakness. That's it. And, you know, the way things are going on in the world right now, you know, they want the churches is deemed as being weak, as being unorganized. There's so many different things in it. And, and you know what? Uh, there may be some like that, but I'm telling you, yes. uh, God is still in control no matter how the enemy wants it to look like. Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, the Bible says in the book of Revelation, I believe it's in the 12th chapter, it says, and they overcame him by the word of their testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. I'm saying this, the church's finest hour is yet ahead of us. Oh, we're going to start seeing miracle signs and wonders. We're going to see the dead raised, the blind will see, the lame will walk. Why? Because God said, I'm going to restore to the church everything that the enemy has stolen. Hallelujah. That is good shout news on this Sunday morning, Apostle. <laughs> Amen. That is Amen. good news. And you know, we need that. The, the whole, the entire book of of the, of the Lord is good news. And, you know, we hear Amen. things so often and it just because we're so used to hearing certain phrases and certain catchphrases, yeah. we, we take it lightly. I mean, yeah. good news. That is what the Bible is. It's good news. We should get excited Amen. about it. Amen. And that, it's, I get so excited with the word you can you can hear it in my voice <laughs> that you know I'm ready to jump out the car you know yeah. but praise God I mean you know the Lord is I just sense in my spirit that there's a hungering and thirsting in God's remnant church those are the ones that are hungry not for the status quo but they're looking for the genuine article and I believe that God is beginning to raise up those kind of people. Hallelujah. Apostle, tell us how people can get a copy of your book right now. 
they can uh, e- they can either contact you or they can contact us directly. And that once again, it's Bio Ministries. Dot com And if you do that, there's a PayPal in the back, there's a shopping cart. You can go there and you can order right off the website. Or you can contact me personally, uh, bioministries at gmail.com, and uh, we'll be more than glad to accommodate all and uh, any need that, uh, of, the, of literature that is required. Amen. Amen. And then, of course, I want folks to give us a call right now at 314-270-2225. If you would like more information about the prophecy conference that Apostle Bio will be facilitating on this Friday coming up this week, call us at 314-270-2225 to get more information about that. Space is limited, so they can't waste time, can they, Apostle? No, no, and you, they don't want to miss it. This will be transformational. It's exciting. It, their lives will be impacted by this, and they'll understand the urgency of the, re, uh, of the body of Christ to get ready for the return of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I can't, you, I, I can't say it any better. You can't say it any better to get prepared for the urgency of Jesus' yes. return. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Apostle, for being a part of the program. It was great seeing you yesterday at the Celebration of Women. And we can't wait to see you this week at the Prophecy Conference. Bless you. Bless you as well. All right, friends. We're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Good morning, everybody. My name is Vance Watt. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordatshaw.com. Shaw.org. God bless. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Good morning. This is Roxy Jones, your independent hair distributor with Peace of Mind Boutique, telling you to give her what she really wants, a peace of mind. I offer 100% Zen Remy Human Hair Extensions, as well as clip-ins, a multitude of other hair products, as well as wigs. Would you like to be an independent hair distributor yourself? Find out more on becoming a Herod Independent Distributor by contacting the hotline 305-814-0891. That is my hotline. Again, that's 305-814-0891. You can also follow us on Instagram at Peace of Mind Hair 13. That's at P-I-E-C-O-F-M-I-N-D-H-A-I-R 13. And Give yourself what you really want, a peace of mind, and achieve the look of a model without the cost. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Prophet is Nona Thomas, and I'm so excited my friend is in the studio. And uh, we are talking about the upcoming Miracle Monday Crusade. I want to welcome back to the CBC Radio Show, Bishop Prentice Thomas of Heirs of God Church and mm-hmm. Celebration City Ministries. Good morning, Bishop. Well, I'll say God bless America. So glad to be here with my prophet and evangelist, Nona Thomas. You're looking fabulous on this day. It must be just- Jesus, Bishop, it must be Jesus. But you know I'm going to ask you, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? It absolutely is, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. And evangelists, even as we're here right now, Mm -hmm. the Lord has shown me a person, you have this problem with your ears, with your hearing. I just want you to lay your hand on the radio because God is about to heal you right now as you're listening to this show in the name of Jesus. You know, it's something how God will just, uh, you know, spontaneously just, Mm -hmm. just 
speak. Mm -hmm. And it's that spontaneity that keeps us on our toes and yes. amen and causes a pure faith yes. to flow. Amen. When God began to do things spontaneously. Yes. Glory be to and God. And they're healed right now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In Absolutely. Jesus name. Absolutely. Well, you know, this is just a taste of what is going to mm -hmm. go on on the upcoming Miracle Monday Crusade. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, Bishop the Lord has really just blessed uh -huh. you to do these crusades for uh -huh. such a long time now. Uh -huh. And so we're getting ready on Monday, September 26th, uh -huh. right there at Christian Grove Center in East St. Louis, Illinois, uh -huh. 1200 North 41st Street. Bishop, uh -huh. tell us, what is the Lord going to do? Oh, my God. Evangelist, glory be to heaven. When the Lord comes in the room, he is going to perform these awesome miracles. And I want people to come. You have cancers, tumors, AIDS, my God, diabetes, high blood, and, and whatever the case may be, crippled, arthritis, all these conditions. I mean, you know, the Lord has anointed me and uh, gifted me even with teaching that will prepare people to receive their miracles right now. Yes. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, I was talking with one of the participants on the way to the daycare, amen, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she was sharing a visitation she had uh, from the Lord. And as she was talking, the Lord started speaking strongly in my spirit about the visitation that I had uh, the year after my pastor had passed, and uh, the Lord came to me in the form of Oral Roberts, and he put this gift in my hand, and as soon as I grabbed it, it disappeared. So while I was talking to this participant today, the Lord unfolded more of the reason why he placed that gift in my hand. Amen. Because this anointing and an ability to teach people how to receive their miracle, their healing right now in mm -hmm. the name of Jesus. In oh, Jesus glory name. be to God. You mm -hmm. know, I, 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 I latch on to those two words that you said right now because mm -hmm. he is a right now God absolutely isn't he? absolutely and we have to uh, get our minds in the right position mentally and emotionally amen and when God is present his word is present and the man or woman of God that he is anointed is present mm -hmm. glory to God and you're yes. there and you're expecting something from God expectation is the birthplace for miracles oh glory be to God hallelujah, hallelujah. somebody listening to me right now you have to sign your love Love one out of the hospital. You are signing yourself out and be at Miracle Monday in the name of Jesus. Your miracle is in your get up and go. Great, oh, glory to God. Great expect, expectations. Oh, my <laughs> God. My God. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We want to let folks know that that is Monday, September mm -hmm. 26. It's going to kick mm -hmm. off at mm -hmm. the Christian Grove Center Church. Uh -huh. That's right there on 1200 North 40, 40, 41st Street. 41st mm -hmm. Street in uh -huh. East St. Louis, Illinois. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is Pastor Dr. Edna Letha Long. Long She's sure. a blessing, isn't she? Oh, absolutely. That's our dean of our of our Bible college. I tell you also where I teach. And it is going to be awesome. You cannot miss, or your loved one, miss this appointment you have with Jesus to receive your miracle. When you go back to the doctor and they check you out, oh, my God, you receive your papers just like some of these other ones that's testifying. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. That's Right. Yeah. Now, I'm glad you said that, mm -hmm. Bishop, because immediately after our interview, we're going to hear mm -hmm. uh, some testimonies from people who have been mm -hmm. in attendance at mm -hmm. your services, at mm -hmm. your Miracle mm -hmm. Monday Crusades, and they're going to mm -hmm. talk about what God did for them. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you have to stay tuned in here to the CBC radio show. I tell you, this is awesome. And this is your time of that total recovery. This is your time, amen, of God manifesting his word in your life. I want to say this to this woman that is listening to me right now. God has not forgotten about you. And you have an appointment to receive your miracle. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, the doors are going to be opening at 6 p.m. Uh -huh. Service starts at 630. That's Christian Grove mm -hmm. Center Church, 1200 North 41st Street, East St. Louis, Illinois, Monday, September 26th. Now, Bishop, mm -hmm. this is just kicking off a series of the Miracle Monday Crusades. Am I right? Absolutely. Absolutely. We're starting there. And this is the first uh, miracle 
biblical money that we've had across the river yeah. in Illinois, and it's going to be a Dr. Long's church. We bless God mm-hmm. that he is expanding. Uh-huh. And, you know, mm-hmm. this uh, program is heard all across the world, all across the country. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. you are available to travel with mm-hmm. the Miracle Money Crusades. Am I right, Bishop? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and then also training and anointing people and releasing impartation into others. Amen. For the uh, miracle anointing, for the healing anointing, for the deliverance anointing, for the prophetic anointing in the name of Jesus and blessings in the name of Jesus. So, yes, so we are available, mm-hmm. amen, to mm-hmm. minister in other places in yes. the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. And we want to give that mm-hmm. contact information because mm-hmm. there could be someone listening right now who wants to bring the Miracle mm-hmm. Monday Crusade to mm-hmm. their city. Bishop, mm-hmm. give us your contact information, would you please? Mm-hmm. Yes, the contact information for the Healing and Miracle Crusade at Christian Growth Center, amen, is uh, 1200 North 41st Street, East St. Louis. Dr. Long is the host pastor, amen. And I want to let you know, I want to let you know that it doesn't matter what the condition or situation is when you're in his presence. See, what people need is the reality of God. And once you come into the awareness that God is in the room, you can receive your miracle. And then another point of contact is when I lay hands upon people, my God, the Lord power will flow through their body because Jesus put that one drop of blood in my hand. It's not for me. It's for the people. And they receive their miracle testifying that he is alive from the dead. We serve a risen Savior. Yes, we do. <laughs> it's no doubt about it. <laughs> He's proved himself over and over to me, Bishop. Yes. Over and over you. again. Yes, yes. But, you know, Bishop, I want you to mm-hmm. give us the phone number f- where folks can contact you throughout the country who okay. want to bring the Miracle Monday Crusade to mm-hmm. perhaps to their church, to their uh-huh. ministry. Mm-hmm. The number to call is 314-43, I'm sorry, the number to call is 314-261-4348 and leave me your name, address and number and all of that and we will get back with you. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Now Bishop, I want to touch on this one thing before uh-huh. we uh, uh, end, end this interview. You know, people come with an expectancy. Mm-hmm. They come I'm expecting mm-hmm. something from the Lord. Mm-hmm. But I believe that we can go out on a limb and say that he will do exceedingly and abundantly more mm-hmm. than they can ask a thing. Can we go out mm-hmm. on a limb and say that? Yes, absolutely, because that's the word of God. Yes. And God wants to bless his people abundantly. Do not settle for just a little bit. Take all that you can handle from the Lord. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, you know, that's good. That, those are good words to close on. We want to tell you one mm-hmm. more time that we're talking about the Miracle Monday Crusade that mm-hmm. is going to be Monday, September 26th at Christian Grove Center Church located on 1200 North 41st Street right there in East St. Louis, Illinois. Dr. Edna Letha Long is the host pastor. Thank you, Bishop, for being on the program. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything you'd like to say in closing? Oh, I don't care if you have to hitchhike on a mosquito, borrow your daughter's skateboard or jump outside on a bumblebee. You need to be at Miracle Monday Monday crusade and God bless you prophet evangelist my good friend in the name of Jesus in Jesus name I love you Bishop thank you for listening today friends we're going to take a short break right here and I tell you you're going to hear two testimonies of what God has done in these amazing miracle crusades all right stay with me I'll be right back Bishop Prentice Thomas inviting you to our Miracle Monday Crusade at Christian Grove Center, 1200 North 41st Street. My God, in East St. Louis, Illinois, host pastor Dr. Long. Service start at 6 p.m. Here are some testimonies to encourage you. My name is Eva Thomas, the wife of Bishop Prentice Thomas. God healed a condition in my neck. I had, um, I didn't have the C curve in my neck and that I am more than 60 years old and I'm still alive. God is, God has healed me. The bishop, he prayed for me and um, I just want to thank God because today I am, I'm pain free in my back area. Hello, my name is Elder Duane Gilmore. Bishop, I was praying for me and God healed me from HIV and AIDS and I do have the paperwork to prove it and I do thank God for the miracle that God has performed in my body. If you have to hitchhike on a mosquito, borrow your daughter's skateboard, jump outside on a bumblebee, you need to be in this service. The number to call for more information is 314-261-4348. I'll see you there. 
Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Good morning, everybody. My name is Van Swat. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordat.com. Shaw.org. God bless. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Prophet is Nona Thomas, and I'm so excited about this next interview, my friends. I tell you, there is something fantastic that is coming to a theater near you. You have got to be a part of this exciting new stage play, The Church People Incorporated. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show the writer and director of Church People Incorporated, Mr. Donald Gill. Good morning. Good morning, Evangelist Nona. How are you doing today? I'm wonderful. Now, you know I'm going to say and ask you this question. I always ask folks before we start. And that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? <laughs> yes, this is the day the Lord has made. And I have been rejoicing and, and I'm still glad. Amen. So you already <laughs> started. All right. <laughs> That's good news. Well, I just know you are rejoicing about this upcoming stage play. It's going to be fantastic. Church People Incorporated, tell us about it. Oh, yeah. I'm really excited about this. No, no, uh, it's it, it's uh, a play that I wrote about church people and just the crazy antics and things that go on in church, the behaviors and all that. And uh, it it basically uh, is a picture of somebody that every church person either know or have seen in church. I won't say every, but several. I, if, if you're in the audience and you're watching this, you will see several people that uh, that you that you either seen at church or that you know, observed or in some form, but you would definitely recognize these people. You say, oh, that's brother so-and-so, that's sister so-and-so. <laughs> right, so this is a, like a comedy drama. It is a comedy drama. Yes, it is. Yes, and and it's and it's, it's uh, more comedy than than drama. This this one is a little uh a little less intent than my more uh serious uh stage productions. Oh, all right. You kind of kind of mixing it up a little bit for us this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's 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 just it's just a, a, a bowl of laughs. You know, there, there's there's a, a very little. You know, even the the, the the drama that's there uh is laughable. You know. Okay. You know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we are looking forward to it. Tell us where is it going to be held. It will be held at Lewis and Clark Community College. That's located at 5800 Godfrey Road in Godfrey, Illinois, near um, uh, Alton, Illinois. Great, great. Very, uh, very nice uh, campus, uh, huge auditorium. Great, great, great. And tell us, that's going to be Saturday, October 8th, starting at what time? Starting at 7 o'clock. The doors will open at 6 and we gotta be so, re- we gotta be ready. We gotta be on time because you're gonna be on time starting this play, and we go- we can't wait, right? Oh, well, definitely. And then here's some too. And then and most of my plays, I'm I'm not in, but I'm actually in this one. What? I'm actually in this show. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm playing the pastor. That's 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 all I'll let you know is that I'm playing the pastor. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. So we gotta come out and see what the pastor says, huh? Yes, yes, yes. You hear a word from the law. Yes. <laughs> now, I understand that we can get tickets by calling the following number. So I know folks can call 314-270-2225. That is the Christian Business Connection. And that number, one more time, is 314-270-2225. Mm-hmm. They can also reach you, Mr. Gill, at 618 698 
818-698-8383. That's 618-698-8383. And they can call Vanessa Adams Productions, which is area code 312-543-6975. Again, that's 312-543-6975. Folks got to hurry up and get those church people incorporated tickets, don't they? Yes, they got to hurry up and get them because they're selling quick. Yeah. They're, 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 they're leaving. People are, are snatching them up. Uh, you know, I don't even have, you know, some of the other uh, carriers probably have more. I don't have that many tickets left. Well, you know what? I, I think that this is a wonderful opportunity, uh, perhaps for a church, ministry, or organization to be a part of a fundraiser. So in your future plays, can folks get in contact with you about that? Oh, definitely. They can call me at that number, 618-698-8383. And uh, we often are looking for uh uh, sponsors and and churches, uh, you know, or businesses that that uh, want to have fundraisers. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Uh, one thing that I think is very interesting to talk about is, you know, the folks that you use, the actors and the actresses that you use for your plays. Uh, many of them have worked with you in several other projects, and you've got some new folks as well, don't you? I do. I do. I, I have a lot of new people. In fact, there's probably only one or two people that's in this project that have been in previous production. And so uh, I'm working with uh, you know, all, all new people, even from my last variety show. Uh, th- these are, are all new people. Wow. What keeps you going? You know, you have been doing this for quite some time. What keeps you going? What keeps you, you know, your mind so creative to to uh, to give us such quality plays? You know, I, I feel like I, I have a, a call to do it. It just it just it's like something that I just I feel like I have to do it. And uh it, it not only inspires me, it inspires other people and I can just sit, you know, and even when I'm writing I'm just I'm just cracking up laughing. You know, sometimes <laughs> when I'm driving down the street and I'm thinking of some of the stuff that I've written and and gone right, and I'm just 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 cracking up laughing. Wow! You know, it's just <laughs> hilarious, and and I, I like I like to laugh. I like to make people laugh. Well, it is definitely something that you're very good at. We are so excited. Give us one more time the address, and we're going to go over the phone numbers one more time for Church People Incorporated. When and where is it going to be? Okay, it will be held October the eighth. That's uh, Saturday, October the eighth at seven o'clock. The doors open at six. And the venue is Lewis and Clark Community College, 5800 Godfrey Road. And that's in Godfrey, Illinois. Great. And, and my number is... I'm sorry, go right ahead. No problem. My number is 618-698-8383. Please contact me uh, for tickets. And then you have some other numbers. Indeed. Well, you can call the Christian Business Connection at 314 270 Two 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 five, and then also you can contact Vanessa Adams Productions at three one two five four three six nine seven five. Mr. Donald Gill, thank you so much for being a part of the CBC Radio Show, and I can't wait to see Church People Incorporated. Well, thank you so much for having me, Evangelist, and I, I hope you enjoy. It. I hope will. you enjoyed it as much as as, as we enjoy doing it. I <laughs> we're having fun. I, I know it's going to be great. Thank you so much. Have yeah. a great day. Thank you. Thank you, and you also. God bless. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Bishop Prentice Thomas inviting you to our Miracle Monday Crusade at Christian Grove Center, 1200 North 41st Street. My God, in East St. Louis, Illinois, host Pastor Dr. Long. Service start at 6 p.m. Here are some testimonies to encourage you. My name is Eva Thomas, the wife of Bishop Prentice Thomas. God healed a condition in my neck. I had, um, I didn't have the C curve in my neck and that I am more than 60 years old and I'm still alive. God is, God has healed me. The bishop, he prayed for me and um, I just want to thank God because today I am, I'm pain free in my back area. Hello, my name is Elder Duane Gilmore. Bishop, I was praying for me and God healed me from HIV and AIDS and I do have the paperwork to prove it and I do thank God for the miracle that God has performed in my body. You have to hitchhike on a mosquito, borrow your daughter's skateboard, jump outside on a bumblebee. You need to be in this service. The number to call for more information is 314-261-4348. I'll see you there. 
Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Prophetess Nona Thomas, and I, we are so blessed to have in our studios with us today Dr. Xavier Tipler of Proficient Chiropractic, and he is going to be one of the vendors at our upcoming event this coming Saturday. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Dr. Tipler. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Ms. Thomas. How are you today? All is well. All is well. Now, look, I didn't prep you on this question, okay. but I ask everybody the same question when they come on the show. And that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? This is definitely the day that the Lord has made for me. It's a, it's a wonderful day. It's a blessing just to be here today sitting with you. Uh, and it's a blessing just to uh, be able to speak to your listeners out here today and, and hopefully uh, introduce them to something new, something something that I really believe God has, has put me here to deliver to people. Yes, indeed. You know, I, I would agree with that too, Dr. Tipler, because your practice has, I mean, you've been doing this now for over 10 years. It's been right at about 10 years. Yes, ma'am. Well, tell us exactly, how did Proficient Chiropractic get started? Well, Proficient Chiropractic got started, like I said, about uh, nine and a half, almost 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, My partner, Dr. Edgar Everett, actually started out the business, uh, and he was in business for about six months. He and I, we uh, we attended Logan College of Chiropractic together. And uh, after our first years of being out in practice and and working with other doctors, uh, our our paths kind of crossed again. And uh, so we, we we sat down, we put this thing together, started working together, and uh, from then up until now, it's, it's just been miraculous. It's been, it's been a great thing. That's the word I would use, too. It is simply a wonderful thing that you all have done because not only do you have your St. Louis location, but you have your Illinois location as well. Yes. Uh, three years ago, going on three years, we... we Opened up a practice in Fairview Heights, Illinois. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, it's just been through the blessings of God that we were able to expand uh, what we had started here in Missouri. Uh, we, we had a few people that were coming, driving from Illinois yeah. to see us in Missouri. And they always say, well, when are you going to get an office in, in <laughs> Illinois so we don't have to travel so far? So, like I said, it was a blessing to be able to to start another location over there. And we hope to, to open you know, a few more within throughout the St. Louis area here in the years to come. You know, I I almost uh, thought when you said that around the world, I I think proficient can go around the world. What do you think? I I think it's definitely necessary. (laughs) It is. You know, uh, Dr. Tipler, so often folks think about chiropractic services as just, well, you know, uh, a good massage. But that's not true. There's so, so many reasons to go to a chiropractor on a regular basis. Am I right? Uh, just uh, on a regular basis, because the way that we approach chiropractic, we approach it uh, from your life, from a standpoint of looking at all the different things that you have been through throughout your life. Uh, when you talk about the different stresses that affects us, stress is the ultimate thing that e- that eventually eliminates us from this world. Mm-hmm. Uh, that stress comes in many forms. It comes in the form of emotional stress, the form of physical stress, and the form of chemical stress. And those are the things that we try to educate people on and how dramatic these things can affect the body and the damaging effects it can have on the body. And when you know, when you look at normal health care now, usually we're looking at we're putting our faith in pills and in potions and in medications and things like that that really have no end. Mm-hmm. You continue to take those things and and until you mm-hmm. pretty much leave this earth. But what we try to give people is hope and understanding that the body was created to heal itself. And that power to heal comes from above. Yes, yes. You know, I having been to your uh, Overland location, I was to say I was impressed with would be to say the least. One of the main things that stood out to me was relationship that you have with your patients. I saw, I mean, they were just happy. It, it was like happy, happy, joy, joy. You're asking them how the family is, how their children are. I mean, you're really involved with your patients. And that is so, I think, unique. I think it's very important when you when you talk about health care and when you talk about healing, healing is, is much more healing. Healing comes from within as well. So to actually have an interaction and to actually understand what's going on in each individual person's lives helps in that process of getting them through certain stresses, certain things that, that, that may be affecting them, have been affecting them for years. Mm-hmm. And once they can overcome certain things, just little things, yes. that can spark the healing that they need. Yes, it 
it's I mean, what I saw when I came to your office, I really cannot explain. I just kind of sat there and just inhaled and said, wow, this is this is great. It's a wonderful thing. It's, it's a, a wonderful, wonderful thing. thing. Now, you know, um, sometimes folks say, well, you know, when you partner with people, you know, there are challenges. And of course, but, you know, to have been in business now for almost 10 years with Dr. Everett. Yes. Uh, I think you all must click. huh? We click very well. You know, when it comes down to when you have the same mindset. Set and mm-hmm. you have the same goal, the same objectives mm-hmm. in life, especially in this field when it comes mm-hmm. to helping people. That's really what it comes down to. Mm-hmm. So any biases, any opinions that we have all gets put to the wayside when it comes down to each individual person that yes. comes into that office. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, it's easy to stay on track because if, you know, egos get in the way. Mm-hmm. What's the ultimate purpose? Right. Our goal here is to help save lives. Mm-hmm. So if what we're thinking is not geared towards that, it's easy to set that to the side and get back focused on the task at hand. That's a good point. I also want to say that when I came into your offices, uh, I was impressed by your receptionist, by your greeting, by the staff. And let me tell you, you know, customer service is challenging in, two, in 2016, okay? Very challenging. <laughs> to say the least. But it was... It, I was so welcomed. It was just so welcoming and friendly, not only by your receptionist who was there at that time, but there was another staff member who was there as Uh well. And they were both on the same accord. I mean, it was great. Yes. Jodeci and Michael, they they have been a blessing to the office as well. Uh, And they have also joined in with our with our vision and what we see for the St. Louis community. And, And they understand that healing not only starts with what the doctors are doing, but it also starts the minute that someone walks. And the do- uh, walks through the door. So mm-hmm. if you walk in a place and the person greeting you has a smile on their face and yes. they welcome you with warm with with a warm embrace, yes, it changed your whole attitude. Whether you're at, you know you're feeling a little anxious, you're mm-hmm. a little scared, mm-hmm. a little cautious, all those things can be put to the side because you know you're in the right place. I don't know. I, see, I'm speechless because <laughs> you don't really get that when you go into especially a doctor's office. But I want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in this morning. We are talking with Dr. Xavier Tipler of Proficient Chiropractic. Uh, Dr. Tipler, give us your locations. Our location here in in Missouri is 2050 Woodson Road in Overland, Missouri. Uh, The phone number is 314-447-0725. We also have a second location located in Fairview Heights, Illinois. That location is 10251 Lincoln Trail Road, Suite 4. And like I said, it's in Fairview Heights, Illinois. Illinois, and that number is 618-215-3775. Wonderful, wonderful. I think it's so important that people feel comfortable. You know, I, I remember, you know, years ago, folks would go to a doctor and, you know, you just, you, you, whatever the doctor says, you don't, you know, you don't really things won't really discuss, but you know, it's it's a conversation back and forth now. You need to understand what's going on and how you're going to be treated. Don't you agree? Oh, definitely. Yes. Uh, there's so many different things, you know, with the way that medicine and the way that technology has grown over the years, things have changed. Mm -hmm. Uh, When it comes to our health care and the way that we take care of ourselves, it has changed when you think about the technology and the the multiple, multiple medications that are out there now. So one of the things that chiropractic helps with is really understanding the basis. Mm -hmm. If you understand how the body works and that there was a creator that created that body, Mm -hmm. that body has the ability to heal itself. Every single thing that you were given, that you were born with, that God blessed us with, was put there for a reason, Mm -hmm. to work in unison. And the minute one thing starts to fail us, Hmm. you better believe there's other things that's probably also starting to fail within the body. So our everything that we do with proficient chiropractic is is first getting people to understand that your body has the ability to heal itself. Mm -hmm. And that healing comes from above, works down inside and expresses itself outwardly. Well, one thing that I am enjoying and learning more about chiropractic and especially when I was there at your office from the amount of patients that you service, which are great, you didn't take it, it wasn't like a rush rush. You know, it was like you still took the time with each client. And I think it's so important. Excuse me, patient. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so important that people understand that and that I drive it home because you need to feel comfortable and you need to feel like you're special when you are going in to see your your doctor. Am I right? You have to feel that way. So we try to make everybody feel just as important 
as the next person. Yeah. You know, there's there's no shortcut in anything. You know, we're, we're there to help you with whatever problems that you come in to see us for. Yes. Well, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about what the Lord is doing through uh, Proficient Chiropractic, not only in Missouri and Illinois, but the other states to come, Dr. Tiff. All the states to come. <laughs> yeah, absolutely right. God willing. Yes. Is there anything else you'd like to say in closing? You know, just thanking you. And, and I, I, I'm loving the spirit. I love the energy that we have here right now. Uh, I really appreciate you coming into our office to, to come pay us a visit and actually see what it is that we do at Proficient Chiropractic because we can talk about it all day, but to see it firsthand uh, does a lot for for anyone. Yes. And uh, so we always invite people, even if you're not for sure that chiropractic is something that you would, would want to uh, mm -hmm. take that journey down, mm -hmm. just come visit our office. Come visit the location. And our practice members there, the staff there, and the doctors there will make you want to, to schedule an appointment and, and be seen. That is absolutely true. One more time, doctor, on you giving us your locations, please, your Missouri and your Illinois location. Again, those locations are in Missouri. It's 2050 Woodson Road, Overland, Missouri. Uh, the phone number is 314-447-0725. And the Illinois location is 10251 Lincoln Trail Road, Suite 4 in Fairview Heights, Illinois. The number there is 618-215-3775. Wonderful. Dr. Xavier Tipler, thank you for being a part of the CBC Radio Show today. Thank you very much, Ms. Thomas. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Good morning, everybody. My name is Van Swat. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordat.com shaw.org. God bless. Welcome back to the CBC radio show, The Christian Business Connection. I'm your host, Prophetess Nona Thomas. And friends, I am so excited about my next guest. We have something fantastic that is coming to the St. Louis area. I want to get right to it and welcome to the CBC radio show, Miss Rose Graham, the founder and CEO of Perfecting Talent and Talent Vision Expo 2016. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> All is well. What about you? I am doing wonderful, wonderful. Well, you know, I'm going to ask you a question that I ask everyone who comes on the program, and that I didn't prep you for it, but it's easy. <laughs> and the question is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Absolutely. It really is the day, and this is an awesome and blessed day. It is, it is. Let me tell you now, you're in Atlanta. Is the, is the sun shining <laughs> in Atlanta right now? No, you know what? It really is. It is so bright and shining. Um feels almost like a maybe mid-summer month. So, yeah, it I is bright it. and shiny. <laughs> and so that's a good uh, prelude to me saying that's because the S-O-N is shining. How about that? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, we're just all abuzz and excited about the upcoming Talent Vision Expo 2016. Yes, uh, yes. And, you know, your your uh, motto is you're a recruiting, development, and placement company. So yes. before we get to that, I want you to just tell us how did you get the vision for perfecting uh, talent? So basically, how this all started is um, it started actually about mm, maybe six years ago um, without me realizing that um, everything I believe is um, um, sometimes uh, your journey is you're preparing for something and sometimes we don't even know what it is and I have to say maybe even longer than that because I thought about um, my days of <clears throat> singing, writing poetry, um, being in a lot of church plays, just doing a lot of, you know, ministry things, and then being in school with drama. I love to be, excuse me, you guys, in plays and things of that nature. And so not realizing that all of that would lead up to something great. So I started with my son, who um, began his journey of uh, modeling um, out of a church, you know, um, agent lady um, at our church just wanted to include boys, and I was like, okay, let's try him. He went into training, 
I have a, I got a lot of compliments on how he just followed through. It built confidence. Um, I noticed that he was able to just do some things that, you know, at one point he was to me a, a, you know, a little shy. And then from there, you know, just um, tripping and falling with different agencies, I ran into this particular agent um, that just blew me away by way of um, the um, talent workshop. That talent workshop. Wow. It was so phenomenal. Um, something that I, I really haven't seen him being a part of. Mm -hmm. And so um, as we journeyed um, in that particular um, setting, I also noticed that he had a part of his um, agency that had a, a, a flip side to it. So I'm like, what is this about? And uh, I was told what that was about. <clears throat> Later on, I became a part of it in terms of hosting talent hosting and showcasing oh my goodness and so I didn't know what I was stepping into <laughs> and so eventually you know um, I began to really like it really enjoy um, searching for talent and bringing them in a room and then allowing them to get the instructions and the training and from there guess what they were connected. They were able to get jobs and to be blessed and to be a blessing to someone else with their talent. From there, you know, I just kept doing it. I like, I just like being on the team. Actually, the part I did not tell is that we did travel. We toured, and I was the leader of the pack. I was the one that would set up all <clears throat> the different comings or, you know, the travel. You know, I would get the people, um, you know, ready to be a part of it. And then we would set up um, also how they would sign on and, you know, giving them flyers and you know, building a street team, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And so not still not understanding why all of a sudden talent agent, he decided to call me in the back and say, there's something in you, there's something in you, there's an anointing on you to do this. And I was like, um, there's, a, there's an anointing on me to do this? And he was like, yes. And so um, eventually he started showing me, like, all these little up and close um, things, you know, like, let me let you sit in the uh, audition room. He would get people to call me. Let me let you um, sit here and watch how I do what I do. I'm still lost. Then he would put me on the phone. Let, let me show you what it means to, you know, how the casting of this works. I'm like, okay. He said, just be quiet and just listen. <laughs> he would just pull me in. No, you know, then no. You know, what, then what you're saying, <laughs> what you're saying is so amazing because not only was did God give you the vision, but He trained you. He He brought other yes. people to help train you, yes. and so now He's brought you to a point now where you're just really touring the country. Um, yes. What you've got coming here to St. Louis for the Talent Vision Expo? Tell us about that. Tell us what you're looking yes. for. So basically, what we're looking for is fresh new talent who have the potential, who have the desire, who are expiring. Now, I would say that we also invite talent that um, have been trying to break through the industry. But, you know, we had some that come, they've been trying to get through the doors for years. But guess what we found out? They were actually getting in front of the, the wrong people or they didn't have the proper training and they were doing things um, the wrong way. So our whole program and our whole setup is to train, is to develop, to place, uh, we pre-market. We do all of those things. So what we bring, you guys, is we bring you just a little, uh, enough to get your appetite wet. So we would bring um, like seven hours. It would just be a one-and-a-half-day um, event. And we would bring to you um, seven hours of talent vision training, um, you would, and which would include um, um, audition techniques, uh, monologue techniques, um, how to do a cold read. Um, we would even give, give you um, tools of how to break into the industry. Do you have headshots? Um, is your resume prepared? We would help you do that as well. Parental guidance is one of the big things I'm learning. Parents, are you ready for the next level? For your child, um, we do want to make sure that people understand that, you know, we are giving you these things step by step because what we don't want to happen is that I'm learning that people are force feeding things and people are going out and they're not prepared. So we want to give you step by step. So this may take more than just a weekend. It may journey you into um, a preparedness of six weeks. It may be eight. And so we're already set up to do that curriculum with you because guess what? 
you may be invited to the main expo, which is in Atlanta, Georgia. And so we also have music training. Um, we have the principles of music, the principles of dancing, and what does it include. Bottom line is the people that are instructing you, they've been in this business for 20 years and plus. And so they are ready to humble themselves and to share with you, to give you everything that's needed. I had one guy that says, all they need is a little bit, just a little, just a little desire. Their voice don't even have to be totally like into singing. That we will take them from ground level zero to a place where they can be successful if they are willing. That's if it. They're willing. If they're willing, and then also <coughs> that goes to the to the name of the business, perfecting. <laughs> yes. I love yes. It. Now, and for those who are just tuning in right now, I want to let you know that we're talking with Miss Rose Graham, who is the CEO and founder of Perfecting Talent, and also Talent Vision Expo 2016. Miss Rose, can you give us your contact information? You're going to come back on the show another time and so we can't do everything yes. today but yes. can you give us your contact information for folks sure. who want to reach you to find out how they can be a part of this expo absolutely so the first thing that you can do is you can go ahead and go to um, our website which is perfectingtalent.com you can also reach us at um, by email, by sending I always like to get um, a feel of who I'm talking with so if you have a clear photo or headshot, you can submit that over to perfecting talent at yahoo.com. You can also reach out to us at 678 720 7861. That's 678 720 7861 mm-hmm. and uh, that's kind of like our basic information that you can contact us through. That is great. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being a part of the <laughs> CBC radio show today. No worries. Thank you. It was exciting. Thank <laughs> you so much. I'm humble. <laughs> welcome. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here and you can get more information about Perfecting Talent by going to our website, thecbcradioshow.com. I'll be right back. Friends, thank you for listening today. Everyone on the show, thank you. You know, in closing, I always say, to God be the glory. Christian Business Connection. Connecting your business or ministry to the world.